see some people up there. Can you hear us? I don't think they can hear us. <laughs> excited are you so i'm gonna ask you very obvious questions while i record your response baby i think i should have asked you that doing it right now <laughs> no maybe i should have asked you that question first no not yet don't do that yet <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are on our way to Lee's Ferry, and this is the first time we've done an episode together. So I want to introduce you guys to my husband. So a couple of things to keep in mind if you're going to be adventuring out here. It's about two and a half hours from where we live in Hurricane Utah. Lee's Ferry is located right below Lake Powell. It's on the other side of the dam. Arizona is mountain standard time, but they don't do daylight savings. So half of the year, you're gonna be the same time zone as Utah. The other half of the year, you're going to be, they're gonna be an hour behind. So make sure you check the time zone so that you can get there. Um, if you've scheduled an appointment uh, for the backhaul service, make sure you check the time zone and, and it's not the worst drive in the world. stuff over there. operated the ferry was John Boyle Lee or something like that which is why it was called Lee's Ferry and then eventually they built a bridge so people can now cross the river through the bridge um, and the ferry wasn't as essential as it used to be but since it's such a good accessing point to the river they still use it for boat haul services and to be able to white craft river down the Canyon, stuff like that so it still exists there's still activity down there but it's just not as important as it used to be there's campsites so you can make like a weekend out of it there's hotels if you're not super into camping not too far away restaurants and stuff like that but it, it's very very small town very hidden gem not a ton of people at least there wasn't last year when we went but it was right in the middle of covid yeah. 
For those of you who don't know what Lee's Ferry is, I bet that you've heard of the Horseshoe Bend out in Page, Arizona. And basically what we're doing is we're paddle boarding the Horseshoe Bend. Well, we're gonna get dropped off past the Horseshoe Bend, right where there's some, I think they're anesthesizing petroglyphs. Yeah. And then, so we'll hike up to those and then we'll pop on the boards and then go through Horseshoe Bend and then take it, the river, the Colorado River, all the way down to Lee's Ferry, which is about anywhere from a four to six hour float, depending on if you want to paddle or not. But basically, instead of looking down at Horseshoe Bend, you're floating through it. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. Picking up some speed. Well, the current, remember when she, she was like, this is where you're gonna wanna paddle with the current? It's because this section is hot. Take care of my, my tribe. So we came in, I think it was August, and it was so hot, we were the only people here. I mean, we still are the only people here. It is way cooler, maybe it's just a fluke thing, like there's clouds or something. Last year I was like super hot, super dehydrated. We went on a hike and I started getting dizzy, and so I was like walking back to the water because the water is freezing. You can handle how cold it is for maybe 30 seconds. Like you jump in and you want instantly want to get out, but it's enough to cool you down. So I'm, I'm walking to the water and I start getting dizzy and I feel like everything start to spin. And then I just book it. Like all of a sudden Tom just sees me running like out of nowhere. It's because I was like gonna pass out. Like I had to get to the water to cool down. I ran, I dove in and then I turned around <laughs> Tom's like running after me, but. The water's so cold too, cause it's being released from the dam at the very bottom. So none of this water is getting any sunlight. That's why it's, it's frigid. How many people are you gonna get to wave? Oh, this is a no brainer, at least 10. Okay, go. That was like three and a half. I saw some people did two hands. <laughs> Doesn't count. It's <laughs> my eye. This is a big pizza bite. Come on. I love my wife. I sing to her all of the time. Have you ever been thrown overboard? Babe. <laughs> Five things you wouldn't come here without. Five. One. Hat. Two. Sunscreen. Three. Paddle board. Four. Though it should have been number one. Wife. Five cooler full of beers. 
<laughs> or water. Or water. I don't think he said water yet. <laughs> I definitely picked water. <laughs> Five things you would come here without, but you'd rather not. A little seat for my paddleboard to, it's something to sit on my paddleboard and like I could just sit down on it. So like, balance. so like a kayak? Something I could just like, you know, oh gosh, like oh seat. gosh. Like right here I could just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep going. Um, boom box. Okay. <sighs> Wife. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Probably food. I'd probably do this without the booties. I wouldn't want to. I could do this but without I probably the, could. Yeah, I mean, okay. I could, but I wouldn't want to. One of mine would be a slow motion camera. Oh yeah. You want that slow motion. Do my job. Take care of you. Thanks. I love you. Like in a creepy way, though. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, in a creepy way, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I was just trying to prove that I was putting in the man hours, too. I wasn't the only one lounging. Things you don't need, though, you won't need a towel. Right? Yep, definitely don't need a towel. Um, you just dry off instantly. Yeah, you don't need to bring your wallet or anything like that on this trip, just leave it in the car. You probably want to bring a dry bag. Any dry bag, if you have one. Dry bag, that's a good one. Five, ding, 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 ding. Fishing pole and permit. Fishing pole and permit. Yeah. Hey, let's get it. Some people camp, like they'll travel really far up the river and they'll go as far as they can and then they'll like pitch a campsite. We're not that hardcore. Maybe next year. See us going quicker right now from the projection of No, we know that fish can't smell. They smell beauty and they're jumping all over my wife. I'm all shook up. I'm all shook up. <gasps> I can't. I can't even right now. That wasn't really a jump. <laughs> well, I don't want to get my hair wet. That's oh, a dunk. It's too cold. It's not as hot as it was last time. It just looks so good. I've never seen anything yeah, so attractive in my life. Did you flip the camera and look at it yourself? How crazy is this? This is living. This is living life. We're approaching the horseshoe. 
right now. We're like at the cusp of it. Just put the paddles up and coast. So it's just strong enough to kind of push you. Tippity top. Crazy. I just heard somebody, but it took him like 10 minutes to respond. And I think <laughs> it took it that long for my message to get up to them. And I just called out another message. So let's wait a couple minutes and see if they answer. They're going to send a smoke signal, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but listen to the birds and stuff. They just called back. I think it takes that long. No. Did, did you hear that? Well, it just happened twice. It took that long. Honey, and I think the people that are screaming back are from down river. Oh, you might be right. Ben McAfee always takes really good care of my clients. Click the application link in the description below to see if you can get pre-qualified to purchase a home.